I want to talk about the concept that we call quantity demanded. Quantity demanded is the amount of any good or service that consumers are willing to purchase at a given price. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you go to a drugstore and you decide that you want to purchase condoms. You notice that the condoms are in different size packages with different quantities in each package. What if I were to ask you the following question? If a three-pack of condoms were $2, how many packages would you buy? Maybe your answer would be two packages. On the other hand, if that same three-pack was $10, you may only decide that you want to purchase one. That would be your quantity demanded of condoms when the price was $10 a pack. As prices change, your quantity demanded as a consumer is going to change as well. How much would you purchase as prices change? At each price, the amount that you would purchase would be your quantity demanded. Let me show you a graph that may help a little bit with this example. On the vertical axis, we'll put price. In this case, we're talking about the condoms market, right? And on the horizontal axis, I'm going to put the quantity, in this case, the quantity of condoms demanded. And we had actually our first price of $10. And then we have a price of $7 and still another price of $5. Let's look at the quantity demanded on the graph in the case of each price. When the price was $10, we said that the quantity demanded would only be one, right? So this is where I'll write 1, and that means I don't need it here anymore. And now I'll just go right across, and this point here represents the quantity demanded of one pack of condoms when the price is $10. But we said that when the price was $7, the quantity demanded would be 2, right? So let's just put that in as well. Let's go straight across and drop down to the two. And here's another quantity demanded right on our graph. Now we see that the quantity demanded at a price of $7 is two packs. And we said what? At a price of $5, the quantity demanded would be even larger. In fact, it would be three packs that you'd purchase at your visit to the drugstore. I'll just draw that in over here. What you're looking at now on the graph is you're looking at three different quantity demanded levels measured out on the horizontal from 1 to 2 to 3 as prices drop from 10 to 7 to $5. But let me show you something really neat. What would happen if I just played connect the dots. Well, I'll even give you a hint by putting a D over here. When you connect all the different quantity demandeds at different prices, you wind up with something called a demand curve. Thanks.